a long time ago in an office. It was actually this office. I received what I considered to be the absolute best, 100% most perfect budget lightsaber I had ever seen before. There's this lightsaber here from Ellis Coco. It had so many sound fonts. It reacted when you moved it. Everything about this just made me fall in love. A short time later, I was sent this one from the same company under a different name. It had all of the same features as the Ellis Coco, but it did one thing so much better. The movement was so smooth and so fluid. The noises reacted the second you moved this thing. You could twist it like this and it would go wacky. It would go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. This right here became the absolute best lightsaber I had ever used. Fast forward to the present day. I received in the mail the newest iteration of the Ellis Coco lightsaber. And I gotta say, I'm pretty stinking impressed. Let's check it out. Nice. So this bad boy here is the newest iteration of the Ellis Coco lightsaber. It has all of the features of the previous two, and it has it in this beautiful, beautiful package. I know you can't see it right now because I got the light on, but geez, this thing looks sharp. Let's take a look at it under the other camera. Take a look at this thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. We've got this brushed metal in here. It's kind of a bronze coppery color. We've got super smooth, shiny aluminum on the other parts. Right here, we've got this great grill effect. And uh, one huge upgrade over the other Ellis Coco model and the Adalert model is one, two, three mounting points for the blade. This thing is not going anywhere. It is definitely stuck. Another cool feature. This right here unscrews, and you are able to actually change the bulb in here yourself if you need to do so. And down here at the bottom, we've got our speaker and easy access to the battery. So battery, right, va. And for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to attach another lightsaber to this end right here because you can actually use this as a dual saber. Check it out. <laughs> How cool is this? Wow, that is awesome. Huge, huge, Peter. Power on. Okay, I've got them both turned on. Let's see what we do. <laughs> Crap, I just totally hit my other camera. <laughs> so as I mentioned earlier, this lightsaber truly is the best of the best. Uh, like the others, it does have a very nice instruction pamphlet here tells you all of the different time codes for all the different settings you can choose. So we are going to go ahead and start with the color changing. Uh, there are lots of different colors. There's two different ways to go through it. You can do the rainbow way and just pick a random color through that, or you can have it go through one color at a time, like the set colors. And of course there is motion control on here, and I do want to demonstrate that because that really kind of sets this apart from some of the others. And I think it works really, really well. So motion control, you turn it on like this. <laughs> and you turn it off the same way. Um, to change the sound fonts, you do a quick flick of the wrist. We're going to go through those after we do the colors. So let's check those out now. So as I mentioned, and you just saw, it's got motion control built in, in addition to using that little button there. So if you flick it towards yourself and then out, it turns on. And if you do the same thing, it turns off. However, if you want to change those sound fonts, and we're going to look at some of those right now, you flick it away from you and then towards you. The count. The count. The high ground. 
the high ground. I believe that one's Obi Wan. <laughs> I have no idea what that one says. Princess. The princess. Scavenger. Scavenger. Emperor. Emperor. <laughs> Serenity. Serenity. The second. The second. Dark Ages. Dark Ages. And this one's actually just like a sword sound. I don't know. The Dark Sword. The Dark Sword. As, of course, made famous by the Mandalorian. Yeah. <laughs> The Dark Lord. This one, of course, is my personal favorite. It needs to be read right now. What was I thinking? <laughs> I really do like the uh, twisty effect there and the noises that it makes. The Fallen. The Fallen. The Count. The Count. So it goes all the way through. And it just uses a simple hand motion. I know that's kind of gimmicky. Not everybody's going to go for it because, you know, when you're swinging this thing around, you might accidentally turn it on. You might accidentally turn it off. But I think that's an awfully cool way to get this thing started. <laughs> so you may have noticed it is a little bit finicky when it comes to the motion control, which is, you know, an OK thing because you can always fall back on using the button. That's about the only drawback to this, is sometimes it doesn't work as expected. However, if you just disable the motion control, you don't gotta worry about it and just, you know, mess around with the buttons, and it works just fine. I think this is by far the absolute best lightsaber I've had. It's absolutely gorgeous. This thing looks so nice. I am impressed with it. I posted a picture of it up on my social media, and I got a big response from it. So I'm very proud to have this. This thing is actually a beauty, and I'm really, really pleased. So do I recommend the Ellis Coco? Absolutely, I recommended it the very first time I tried one. It was wonderful then, and it is 10 times better now. You've got all of those options. You got the motion control. You've got actually very, very sensitive movement, noise-making thingies, and I really like that. Plus, it just feels good in the hand. Out of the three uh, lightsabers I've got here, it is the shortest by about two centimeters. That's not really that big of a deal. Um, the blade, of course, is exactly the same on all three. However, I think the uh, two centimeters there be is because this one actually has an end cap on it, and the others have this little thing here where you're meant to screw in another lightsaber. So yes, this can be attached to another lightsaber, but it's actually got a finished end piece, and I really, really like that too. This is just a complete lightsaber. It's so well thought out. It's absolutely gorgeous. Just, God. The brushed copper there, that's great. The aluminum, it's so shiny. Everything about it is just quality. Um, almost everybody that saw this thing actually thought it was a legitimate Star Wars lightsaber. That's how good it looks. That's how good of a job they did. So Ellis Coco, absolutely perfect. You guys really, really struck out on this one. Great job. Keep it up. And I would love to review some more of your lightsabers in the future. I've already bought several of them myself. If you're interested in getting one of these things, I will leave a link down there in the description. Like, subscribe, and all that jazz. And I will see you all later. Bye. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>